your country currently has a travel advisory for the U.S., can you please? According to New Zealand's Safe Travel website, the country has exercised increased caution of level two for the United States due to the threat of terrorism. But before that, let's discuss what these ratings mean. Governments issue ratings based on risk level ranging from number one to four. Level one. Exercise normal precautions is the lowest level. This means there is no significant risks, but travelers should still be aware of local differences and check entry, testing, and vaccination requirements before you travel. Level two, exercise increased caution. Be aware of heightened risks to safety and security. Level three, reconsider travel. Avoid travel due to serious risks to safety and security. Level four, do not travel. This is the highest advisory level. When I scroll further down and look at the crime section, the website states petty crimes such as theft and pickpocketing can occur. Violent crimes has targeted individuals and groups from the LGBTQ community and those with diverse ethnic, cultural, and religious backgrounds. However, crime rates vary considerably across cities and suburbs, and while tourists are rarely targeted, there is always a risk of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Active shooter incidents occur in the United States. Be aware of rental and financial scams via websites and social media. Credit card and ATM fraud, including debit card cloning, is also a risk to travelers. According to the UK government, travelers should avoid walking through quieter areas alone, especially at night. Incidents of mass shooting can happen, but are a very small percentage of homicide deaths. According to the Canadian government, tourists should familiarize themselves with how to respond to an active shooter situation. Don't leave bags or valuables unattended in parked cars, especially rental vehicles, even in trunks. Some criminals on highways target travelers leaving airports or other tourist destinations. They signal tourists to stop due to an issue with their vehicle. They then wait for the driver to pull over or exit the car before grabbing exposed valuables. Criminals may also throw items at the windshield, obscuring the view of the road and forcing the driver to pull over. According to the German government, it is easy to acquire weapons. So the use of firearms in the United States and in some cases, mass shootings occur more frequently. The German government also warns its citizens to avoid breastfeeding in restaurants and bars or in less liberal areas. The German government warns travelers that it is a crime to leave children of certain ages unattended. And as a general rule, children under the age of eight should never be unsupervised and children under the age of 13 should only be left unattended for a short period of time in the United States. They also warn tourists to not bathe naked unless exceptionally permitted and as a woman to not swim without a top. According to the French government, the United States of America is among the safest countries but then breaks down the risks and threats that tourists traveling in certain cities in the United States might face. 